Right, we just do a video going across the bridge with the M5 is. I've left Webbington Hotel heading for Loxton. Heading for Loxton. This is the M5 going to southwest that way and uh, going Bristol that way and there's a Crooks Peak up there. Right up there's Crooks Peak. We just go everywhere, I was right on the top of that earlier. You see it all the time when I'm out, it's one of my reference points. Right, we have heard that motorway ever since I started the descent from Crooks Peak, you could hear it getting louder and louder. Still going to be loud for a bit, and then I'll cross the field in a minute to the Loxton Church. I always get the impression that Loxton was like a Quaker place. I don't know why. It has got a village hall, so they probably do occasionally have alcohol there. But there's no pub. It's a place with no pub. I don't even know if it's got a school or anything. It's got lots of rich people who like walking, like me. <laughs> We're all rich. If you've got your health, you're rich. Money can't always buy you. All the money in the world can't always fix you. Yeah, so basically... I don't know if it's here I turn off or further down, I always forget. I think it's here, I think it's here. Or is it further down? No, it's here. I turn off here. You can walk into the village, of course, the other way. But I always think this is the nicest way. And you go across the field. Sometimes it's full of corn on the cob, maize, with tall I've walked through it and they're all like on sentry duty. Well, this is a nice view as I walk along here of Crook's Peak ahead of me. I can see some people sat down and uh, I have my cheese and tomato on top of there. And anyway, just a reminder of the date, it's May the 17th 2023 and I paid my rent this morning. My rent went up this year by not as much as some people have to pay but still quite a a bite out of my what I've got left and I've paid everything um,
Here we go, a little path going over, look. I just turned off and take a picture. There's the church, look. Locks and church, 11th century, full of history. It's even got squint holes for lepers. Now that hill there, when I leave the village, when I leave the church, I've got to make my way up and climb up, skirting that wood. There. I'm going to take a quick look into the church, as I always do, and then I'll make my way. Look at it, it's beautiful. Look at blue sky, the breeze is warmer. I'm following this little path that so many people have trodden on over the years. Uh, Banwell Wood, just to get our references. Crooks Peak. Looks like they've already harvested something here. Early crop, by the look of it. I then have a lovely, once I get up up a bit, it's, in fact, going this way, it's always more uphill, the West Mendip way, going back. But the first part's the worst. Uh, once you get through that, it still goes up for quite a long time, but it's not unbearable. And that is another picture of the church. Lovely old church. Really is. Make our way over to Banwell Wood. Beyond that, of course, there will be Banwell Hill Fort and Sanford Hill and Quarry. And there we've got a lovely picture of our Crooks Peak again. I'm just going to turn off and take. I've got to keep an eye on this charger, you know, because um, it's what's keeping us going, the charger. There's a lovely conquer tree there with the white blossom on it. It's beautiful that, isn't it? I just love this place. Just love it. I always remember the story I was told when I was a child by my brother-in-law, who was a policeman, and he he said they found a, a skeleton up there, Crooks Peak, once in the undergrowth of a woman. And she could have perhaps fallen and broken her leg and I don't know what, I'd have to look that story up now because he's dead now, Dudley, who told me that story. Yeah, it's lovely, all the colour, isn't it? Beautiful colour. Of course, it hasn't been scorched yet by a heat wave, which it will do. Didn't see any ponies today either. Saw two llamas. <coughs> Big llamas. It might have even been camels actually. Not the double humped one, the other one. Yeah, they could have been, they could have been camels. Damage, eh? Look at that old stone, that's ancient, isn't it? That's bloody old, that is. That's a bloody old stone. Unless it was made of concrete, of course. It could have been. Might not be an ancient stone at all. Right, we just pop up here for a minute. Like I said, if you look over my videos over the past uh, 
let me see, 14 odd years, different cameras, me, different age. There we go. And the doors, so it's always welcomes you here. It's a lovely, lovely graveyard. What a beautiful place to have your ashes put, or your body. That's a new seat, I haven't seen that before. Another memory of Janet Nihan, 16th of January 1943. God, she was um, nine years younger than, older than me, and she died on 23rd of August 2021. Safe in the arms of angels. Hmm, God bless you. She would be. 81 now, or 80 something. Here we got the old stone cross, look. With a lovely view. What a lovely place. What a lovely place for that girl to have a seat as well. There's a squint hole, look. A porpoise. We've got to keep the door shut when we come in because the bat birds get in and they get trapped. I don't think they can ever turn the lights on in here. I think it's always dark. Um, or they're somewhere else and I've forgotten where they are. But, um, I always like to pop in and um, look at that. That's sweet, isn't it? It's a pretend candle. Oh, look, I'll put that there. Pretend candle, isn't that sweet, isn't it? They're very nice. Really sweet, that, isn't it? I wouldn't mind one of those. Wonder where you get them from. I got them everywhere. <laughs> Just a quick visit, everyone. The smells of scented candles in there actually. <laughs> Saves um, places burning down, I suppose. Leave the candle lit. Over and out, everyone. 